And finally, to kind of demonstrate, you know, the the the, the hazards of spinning in the pattern, I have put the glider in a fairly extreme situation, low and slow, on a low base to final four two five with a tailwind, and I'm going to button hook the pattern, and I will use, I will rudder into the turn. Uh, so, and it's this is not uh, this is not such an inconceivable situation uh, because um, if you are not if you're not familiar with um, you know dealing with a tailwind on base leg. Uh, and especially if you're low, you're, the the trees are going to become are going to be zipping by really quick because you have a pretty high ground speed. And if you get lower, uh, you look like you're going faster. So my ground speed's about 60 knots, even though my air speed's about 45. And so it's pretty easy to get pretty slow in this kind of situation. And I am going to intentionally button hook, and I'm going to intentionally uh, dr drive the rudder into the turn. And you will see how quickly and easily. Uh, you end up be putting yourself in a very spin-prone situation. So if I keep it slow, and suppose right about now I decide to start, I decide to start turning, right? And I and at this point I've already I've, I'm already uh, I've already delayed the turn too long, and so if I start turning and I start ruddering into the turn, and I start putting that opposite aileron, there it goes. And what ended up happening here? The reason that glider departed on me, right, is because I started ruddering into the turn uh, to the right. Um, as I started ruddering in, I started putting an opposite aileron uh, because to keep, you know, to stabilize the uh, the turn. And I started pulling back because uh, as you start turning, you need to start pulling back. And I'm, you know, the trees were coming up real quick on that button hook. So I um, and. As you do this, you know the you're, you have a skid. You're aggravating the skid with opposite aileron, and you're pulling back uh, in order to get the turn going. And so, and you know, and then what ends up happening there is is this sort of thing. You know, and you're you know so. I mean, here there was a combination of factors. Obviously, I mean, um, it wasn't just one thing. Uh, you know, you're you know it's a low you know like. I set myself up on a low and slow base to final with the tailwind, um, ruddered into the turn on a bun hook. I mean, you know, you you address any number of those different things, and you know, then you, you'll you know you won't have the same outcome. But my point here is that you know you're you have to be really on top of your technique, and if you have a habit of ruddering into the turn, uh, you know, if you know that. Basically, if you allow yourself to get a little bit too slow, uh, and you start loading up that glider, that the glider will want to depart on you like that. And you really, really, really need to pay a lot of attention to making sure that you are coordinated, or maybe in a tiny skosh of a slip, uh, when you're making turns, especially in the pattern.